Nicole, why are you so worried about Cass? It's the pressure. But he's used to that. No, no. Cass thrives on pressure. Not this kind. Why, has he said anything to you? I hardly see him. And when I do, he's distracted, nervous. What you're saying is life with Cass right now is not what it's supposed to be. I'm just very worried about him. I don't think he can take all this anxiety. Oh, Nicole, come on, this dear. This case has become so personal for him. Felicia is his closest friend. These stakes are very high. I don't want him to lose. But he'll be fine once he gets Felicia off. If he gets Felicia off. Uh, oh, you... You think he might lose this case? I think it's possible. And if he does, it would eat him alive. Perhaps you're right. Well, then maybe he is too close to the case. Could you convince him to turn it over to Zach? For his own sake and, and for Felicia's. I'll be here. Thank you. Well, the police are going to come out this afternoon to uh, pick up the gun case. Good, that's good. Cass, I really don't know how long John will be. I... I'm in no hurry. That must be him. Josie, 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 come on, for Pete's sake. John, Josie. what happened? It's all right, I can handle it. John? Hi, Cass, I'm sorry I didn't see you there. John, Cass, you've been waiting for you. You got a minute, John? No, I don't. I want to go up and talk to Josie. This has to do with Jason's death. Well, the police have my statement. Yes, I read it, but I'd like to hear your story myself. My story? There's no story, Cass. We need to talk, John. Well, I can't. Not right now. I've got to talk to Josie and then go John, just one minute of your time. Not now, You Cass. wouldn't be trying to avoid me, would you, John? He's going to have to talk to me sometime. You tell him that. I, I don't know where to start. Well, I don't have all day. It's just that there, there's so many things that I need to know. Like what? First of all, how did you come to be in the house of mirrors with Felicia? I, I hope you don't mind my asking, but how did you get that? I didn't mean to offend you. It's just that I know a doctor in town, and if you ever thought about getting plastic surgery, I just... Fanny. Fanny. Right. Let's get back to it. Were you in the house of mirrors when he was shot? Did Felicia shoot him? She didn't mean to. trying to take anyone's place. I told you, I just want to be friends. Friends? Yes, Josie, nothing has changed. Why can't... Excuse me. I can't get through to her. I don't know why. She just got it in her head that I... What is it? Cass. What about him? He wants to question you. Why? There's a gun missing. What gun? The gun that Felicia had was one of a pair of guns. So? 
So Cass thinks that there were two shots fired. He thinks that maybe you know something about it. Why would I know anything about it? John, you fought with Jason. Shh, no. Listen, Charlene, Felicia has already admitted that but she Cass shot him. But Cass is sure that Felicia didn't do it. He's sure that somebody else well, did. What are you saying? Are you saying that Cass believes that... that I shot Jason? Well, he didn't say it. But he... John. Are you positive she did it? She didn't mean to. Like I said. This goes against everything Cass believes. Wait a second. How do I know you're telling the truth? I don't lie. I'm so sure about that. I mean, you could be playing some sick game. And you just got all your information out of a newspaper. No. I don't know anything about you. You could have been the one who shot Jason. You would think that. Just like everybody.